Hey people, welcome! This is episode 19 of my Let's Play. Uh, you can see in the map here I moved the quarry because it has already reached uh, the bottom of the world. I changed here things a little. You can see um, there are now two electrical engines from forestry, tin engines uh, giving energy to these two items in here and there is a reason bef because uh, I am using golden cable in here right now I have more golden cable than <coughs> copper cable comparing the needs uh, with the avi avi availability ODR <coughs> what else? oh you can see I place little vimes some vimes on the top of the house so I can go up and down without much trouble using using them and I can jump higher because well I crafted in a previous episode the seven leech boots which you can see they can be repaired inside of our our wonder bag with a talisman of repair from equivalent exchange Okay, I just uh, got my hands on some sticky resin and you can see this system is working quite well. Uh, I burned a lot of resources in a while ago because, well, essentially I was uh, crafting lots and lots of uh, different stuff. But uh, worry not. There are some other thingies you can all see me crafting, like our very first ta -da, dark matter. I'd uh, love to go ahead and turn it into red matter, but it can't be done anymore. We need three dark matter, one here, one here, and this in the middle, to make that upgrade possible. Uh, but what we are going to do now is to grab ourselves one of these and if my memory serves me well we're going to need some glowstone some more glowstone than we have in here okay this should be more than enough uh, this goes in here now we place the dark matter on the top and surround, fill the rest with uh, glowstone and we get the Collector Mark II. The Collector Mark II it's, is more potent than the Mark I Collector. It's uh, quicker, it's, uh, I won't say smarter but uh, it's much more bigger when it comes to placing items in there and uh, it still can receive power from adjacent uh, Mark I collectors so we're going to leave things there cooking for themselves for a while you can see there's another uh, collector in here working and what else? Oh yes, I crafted myself, you can see, seven descriptive books in here. However, I found, uh, well, I added all the things in here. You can see single biome, normal biome, checkerboard biome, the difference biome we have in here, the, uh, the, tip, the type of fog, lightning, special buildings, sunset, obelisks. Interesting, so now we have obelisk implemented into Mistcraft. Great. Cave wall, flat, standard terrain, <coughs> wooden tendrils. This is, uh, these are tendrils, floating tendrils uh, of made of wood, of regular wood. It's impressive if you want to get your hands on lots of, of wood. I also 
well, 13 fragments. It is uh, very worthwhile to place three stacks of cobblestone as soon as you can, and you can see there are more discoveries waiting for us. Let me see where can I place this. For example, in here it's okay. The Eternalis fuel can go in there. And I can place this back in here. And this in here. Perfect. Okay. So what do we have in here? I crafted another thermometer and some items because I want to show you one of the items of uh, Thumbcraft. This is the Arcane Tinkering Tools, which uh, function like the wrench for Buildcraft, the screwdriver for Rest Power 2, etc. Night time's coming. Uh. And there's nothing else really. There's also all this bunch of discoveries. I let the computer on for a long time. See? A wisp spawned here. And since it can't uh, really fly away, it's easy prey for me. It's the second one I killed inside of my house. The, uh, the other one let, dropped me the cracked wisp shell. And now let's see what can we craft. Uh, harnessed rage. Hmm. Damage or aggression. Okay. So my tools are now dangerous. Quicksilver core. Great. The woods of the meteor. Thomic duplicator. And uh, this I already know I am placing them in here for now, but I believe it's getting a little cramped. I might, uh, I might devote a chest for them in the future. And uh, since I do have the Thomonomicon, there are a few uses I can expand these discoveries into. Another Thomonomicon, to have one in reserve, is one of them. And uh, the other is to burn them from for peace. Oh, vampiric enchantment. Yes, uh, soul stealer. Charm of the dead. Hmm. Okay. Brazier of souls. Uh, oh dear. This will rise levels of... Uh, okay. These are new items as in the last uh, upgrade of Thumbcraft. I think uh, I mentioned it in the last video. Sham of Souls. Relic Hunter. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay. Self Repair. Mm. Well. Concentrated bees. Ha ha ha. The concentrated bees is one of the better ways to rise quickly the bees value in an aura. I've used it in, it in my test world to rise it to 100% bees quickly. But oh well. Once of uh, reversal. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Axe of the stream. Mm -hmm. Charm of vigor. Oh, <laughs> I want drone and I want to need to feed. The sonic generator. This turns uh, some craft energy, the uh, bees, into industrial craft, rest power, and build craft uh, energies. Interesting, but uh, not that ideal for me. So let's check this last uh, few. Oh, the brain in a jar. I love it. Uh, the totem of dawn. This helps to contain the taint. Bow of bone. Hmm. Interesting. How of the mystic. Not really that useful compared to the gold exchange version. And the mask of cruelty. Hmm. hmm. Really interesting stuff. 
So yeah, a lot of uh, these items. Oh, this uh, magma cream and the gas tears, I got them from one of the worlds I visit using the Maestcraft system. And it was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's like the nether, but during the day. It was, uh, was a complete chaos. Okay, gold and... Let me see, there was one piece of gold. There was another who was uh, really full of uh, animals. Okay, this in here, this in here, and this in here gives us the Googles of Revealing. Now we have the same, if you can, you can look at the bottom left and you see we have the same indicators as before, but if you look at the bottom left of the screen you can see, haha, numerical values. There's also something good coming from here. If we go out, I managed to get out of my house, that is. And in this direction... Yes, I am heading for the monolith. See? Interesting. If I remove the glasses, I see nothing. I put the glasses on and ta -da! So this is how you see, you know, what to do with uh, the monoliths. You need to open them. What are you doing here? Uh, by placing the corresponding crystals in there. And I, I will eventually slain the, that monster better in there. You know, this is uh, right by my house and I had never checked it before. Oh, a hole. So, the next thing we're going to do now is to... Ah, ha, ha. I knew there was something interesting in here. Uh, okay, so I think I will do something I had never d did before, which is crafting myself one of the f farms from forestry that I never had much much use for. Mm, where are we? Don't worry if we well get, if we were lost, it's. Just a question of taking out our portal gang and going home. Or we can find an exit to the surface. Ta da! Gosh, these woods are amazing. And I believe I heard the zombie must be inside of here, so he will die horribly soon. Now let's see if I can get inside my house. Very well, let's place our items in here. In fact, I'm going to place this one in the compressor directly. And of course I had left the ticking machine working. My god. Seems like the game wants to mess a little with me. Anyway, let me think for a second what can we do now. Uh, the arcane tinkering tools, by the way, can be used for a lot of things, rotating items inside of. Uh, yeah, I crafted in bulk. You can use them to rotate items here, or you can use them to uh, recover items that still haven't been uh, burned inside the crucible. 
Yes, we can now see the numerical values of uh, this stuff by looking to it. And uh, there was something I want to do. I believe the no the the crystal ball needs to be researched. So I am at at a complete loss right now. Oh well, got to try researching it. And when, why don't I show you another way to craft yourself a summon Omicron? For example, like this. Ta-da! We now have two summon Omicons. One of us, the other is uh, stored safely. For now at least. And so I'm going to store this... Uh... Oh dear, this is so... Um... This is so terribly... Oh, of course, I can't storage them downstairs since I can't use them for for this. Yes, I can use them for their this value. Let's uh, check how much can we get for one. ta -da! Lots. So you see, if you need uh, some some bees and of course taint, you're going to need uh, well, and you already crafted yourself your your thumbnomicon. There you go, the ideal solution. Just burn the redundant files and uh, don't worry about anything else. So, I believe uh, this is a good time, since I am getting all those uh, troubles, to think about opening some of those monoliths. Let's grab ourselves some tiny crystal, well, some crystals of all kinds. Mm -hmm. And that should be more than enough. And of course, remember we have a slight problem when it comes to to the obelisks, and that is that uh, we need, uh, in order to extract the most from them, the Eldritch Keystone. I believe we need to research this in here, but uh, for now, I believe it's safely to say well. Let's go for Infernal Monoliths. So you can see also the problem I had with monsters. Now remember, I, I am carrying several link books to the other worlds. Whoa! And you can see there's a vase uh, in there. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, you can see they are more dangerous than ever, than anything. Okay, I need uh, red, I need yellow, I'm going to need green, no, blue. Aquios. This in here. Be mindful, if you make a mistake, things will blow up. So now the taint will rise a lot. Let me take cover for a second while I get my hands on my lap on my electric jetpack. And let's go down. Okay, you can see here there are the holes for placing the the keys. And here we can see there's a chest. We can mine it. Don't uh, bother trying to mine. Okay, I wasn't expecting be to be able to mine the all this. <laughs> Impressive, frankly. Now this is a little risky because I believe I am on a fairly deep uh, layer. Uh, can't see it. Let me get in here and we can check. I don't have the slightest idea on 
where I am. Okay, we are at layer 9. So you can see this is fairly dangerous. If the taint ex is expanding, we'll have trouble. And you can see the monolith won't expand this way. Uh, what happens there? Oh. We need to use the key for it to expand or it won't be doing it by itself. So, Eldritch Stones. Didn't knew you were able to mine them, frankly. Oh. Some good resources around here. Well, of course, we are on a pretty deep layer, after all. Let me check for a second if we go down what happens. And by the way, remember there's instability out there, and the uh, instability will kill this. Of course, if I don don't my lap pack, things will be a little better. And yeah, please notice how quickly the lap pack uh, recharged the system. Yep. There are some. Well, there's like everything in here. Seriously. Okay. This has been interesting and educative. And we got our hands onto an Eldritch mechanism, two shards of strange metal, and Eldritch stones. Oh, and a disturbing mirror. Okay, nothing to do here, I suppose. Let's take our... There we go! Oh dear, this is really deep! Oh! Yay! And see how much uh, pigmen there are here. You can see here there's instability. Things are falling down rather quickly. Lots of pigmen that aren't dying. And there's my small house. Ta -da! Welcome! This is my house. Well, a uh, home uh, far from home. So let's try another of these monoliths and see if we are a little more lucky. Okay, this goes like so. If I uh, cho choose the wrong crystal, ouch! See? Explosions happens. There we go. And uh, I suppose we can't uh, mine the monolith. No, we cannot. Okay, I'm on the, I'm with my extra pack. Yeah. Oh sh. Oh, to. This time it has been extremely profitable. Opalescent eyes, seeds of darkness. Mm, don't know what's this been. What can I use this for? I believe you can't use them for anything. Yeah. There's no use for them. Just uh, what we see here. And I don't know why I can suddenly mine this. Maybe it's uh, something that has to do with uh, the drill from Industrocraft. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to... I suppose I should keep opening this monolith. You can see the taint is fairly high down there. And they are venting taint outside. So this... Uh, oh. This place is, is going to be a little cheaper in a while. But anyway, let's uh, go back to the overworld and see what can we find. And since we're at it, we can, for example, start crafting some aluminum, and then I will craft some of the other stuff. The, 
I can't remember its name. Let me see if we can craft it in here, by the way. No, we cannot. Shamefully, we cannot. So we are burning rather quickly with the taint. Uh, sorry, the bees. Yep. And the taint is uh, slowly concentrating its itself. I should craft some bees uh, purifier machine soon. If I don't want to suffer some explosion and uh, a lot of uh, things, stuff being thrown into the atmosphere. Oh, a golden apple. Oh dear. Mm, let's see if we can find it. And I don't know. Hmm. Thomic Enchanter. No. Traveling trunk. This might be fun. But I don't really need it. Uh, of course, I should be crafting some brain in a jar. Soul fragments. How are soul fragments made? Right now, I don't remember. <laughs> I'll check in a moment. Um, nope. Painted. Totems? No. Okay, so, uh, I'll have to check the wiki, but I bet I don't have the, mini the means to craft it. And what was the name of oh, what I was looking for? Ah, Nitor. Of course, it uh, has to be crafted in the other stuff. Crystal ball, ODR, this detector, and all this stuff. And yes, I should uh, think about crafting one of these. It requires, after all, a redstone and gold. And there are some really interesting ones right now, but I can't find the Vis Purifier. Mm, oh yes, here it is. Can't be crafted, so shamefully. And finally, I believe we are going to make some really interesting item that will allow us... Yeah, we'll, this item will help us to vent all the excess corruption into the atmosphere. So it's a fairly useful item. Okay, 15. The, you need to place them one after another. Let me think for a second. Okay, I just checked the wiki and it doesn't say anything about uh, how much can you stack. 4, 10, 0, 0, 0. I suppose yeah, the taint is slowly rising around, but there shouldn't be much of a problem considering how much of this I have stacked right now. And we should, yeah, we are now losing slowly the taint, so there won't be much of a problem. Thanks. And yeah, I could uh, place this other five uh, the other way and like to increase the speed. But for now, I believe we're good. Maybe in the future I will move all this system a little farther or something. And of course I need to place some uh, bees purifiers. This in here, which needs to be... You guessed it right. Research it. And would you look at that? I got my hands into the crystal involved theory. And yes, I am burning all my these crystals. But I hope it will be worthwhile. I'm going also to sacrifice a bunch of uh, fragments of lost knowledge in order to make sure that I can discover this uh, theory. Because frankly, I really need it. 
And yeah, perfect. We got it. Yay, success. Now let's leave this uh, working for a for a while and I need to give it a little more paper. Okay, and uh, let's discover the crystalline well and see what it requires. <laughs> Diamonds glass. Okay. <laughs> this has been a little ouchy. One diamond and one piece of glass. And I suppose uh, this is the closing for this episode. I should be thinking about uh, making more diamonds in order to start working with logistic pipes. I know, I know, it's a little it's a small abuse of mechanics, so to speak. But remember how much diamonds require the logistic pipes system. Crystalline well. Let's see how this works. Oh, shouldn't have. Always hit enough to leave one crystal so it can keep growing. Yes, I messed it up. Oh well, in the future well, I, I'll restore that one and the like. Let's see if the crystal will regenerates inside of our, of our bag. Seems... yeah, it is, re it is recovering its power. So this, this has been episode 19. I am... Um, I've been exp uh, trying to exploit all the resources I was able in the in another of those worlds, and I have uh, to worry about. Uh, well, I want to start using Ender chests, so I will have to go into the Nether and try to hunt some of those uh, fly flaming flying men are so abundant in there. So until the next episode, thanks for watching and I'll see you around. Bye people!